Hey guys, this is your boy Yashua Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, guys, please like the video, share the video, and hit that subscribe button. Okay. So without any further ado, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna overclock and undervolt your RDX 3070. Okay. So you'll need a few things. Uh, you'll need to install Heaven Benchmark 4.0 and install Afterburner. First, I'm gonna launch and start off the burner right here. Okay. Next, I'm gonna launch this Unigine Heaven Benchmark. Okay. And quality, this one, Tessellation Extreme. Uh, maybe I should disable this because uh, on the RTX 40 series, I RTX 40, 70, 40, 70 Ti, 40, 80, 40, 90 should be using extreme uh and the aliasing off all right this this quality ultra i'm gonna hit next all right as you see it's uh currently begin recording and uh, i'm getting like the memory graphics it's um when I do that, I'm gonna press um, Win key plus D. Um, at full screen. So you shouldn't do full screen, otherwise you won't be able to switch. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this. Press OK. Close. I'm gonna go right there. Yeah. All right. So once uh you have every software burner open, click Control F or click on Curve Editor. Hit Control F. And right here we're gonna uh we're gonna see. Okay. Uh, right here's a GPU. Uh, here we we are having like uh. 1875 megahertz 1890 1875 okay all right so what i'm gonna do right here in the curve editor so we're gonna go to the 900 and then we're gonna just okay make sure that you select the 900 then we're gonna move it like uh maybe we're getting like 1860 okay so instead i'm gonna do 1850 or maybe 1830 all right 1830 and then i'm gonna hit apply okay and for any rtx 3070 guys for any rtx 3070 you should be good with a plus 800 right here simply hit uh, hit apply and right here in the core clock instead of curve okay click here and do minus uh minus 25 zero okay minus 250 press enter click ok all right now go back to the curve editor and we're gonna move this uh to was it so we're getting uh i'm gonna set this to 1850 all right 1852 right here 1852 and i'm gonna hit apply okay and as you see right here uh as you see right here uh i did not have to uh, increase the power limit and the temp limit as you can see now the temp as well uh, uh, has been decreasing before it was like 71 71 degrees celsius and now it's 66 68 degrees celsius and we are getting a stable of 1860 megahertz this one the gpu memory clock was 7000 but right here we are getting 7000 7800 Okay, it's because we've added 
plus 800 and if you wish to crank this up just increase it by plus 100 like uh, this and click apply right should be good even plus thousand even plus thousand as well should be good okay and uh, well yeah you can increase this and you can click it click here and move your fan your fan speed to like 70 70 percent and click apply right because so this right here guys this settings right here are the best okay this setting right here are the best value for under voting your rtx 3070 while maintaining the gpu temperature lower temps and also to overclock it at the same time okay so yeah if this store was helpful guys please give this video for a like subscribe as well and you can as well click save and you can save it as under profile one right here click apply uh let's say you wanna revert back so all you add is to click right here and it is uh it has been revert back as you see now the temp is like crazy 72 temps but let's say okay 73 let's say i want to apply the settings all i gotta do is click the profile right here and click apply okay and just give it a few seconds this the uh, gpu temperature is gonna decrease as you see decrease and we are getting the memory clock as 7900 and we are getting a stable 1860 megahertz gpu codes all right so yeah thanks so much for watching guys this is how we free um all right so let's say if you wish to increase this like uh, plus 1200 yeah just keep trying until it crash okay until it crash and it restored your pc and then you will know what was the last number right here all right so go ahead try it and let me know if this works for you or not all right and for your information guys i'm using a zotac gaming rtx 3070 it's a dual fan uh graphic card it's not it's not the triple fan it's the dual fan rtx 3070 the brand name is zotac gaming okay thanks so much for watching